Welcome back, everybody. In our last episode, I th we had just taken Thebes and Jerusalem, and we set siege to Damascus. We're going to try to take Sidon as well. We had a major battle over here with the Egypt. Uh, we had to lift our siege off of Sidon to fight the enemy that was coming from behind, and they managed to escape and retreat into the city. And then we've got another stack over here that we want to take out before I siege Damascus. Uh, I'm really hoping that when I in turn that they attack me, but it might, it's kind of unlikely with my large stack over here. And I've got uh, Decimus Brutus over here. He's going to attack these rebels. I think I want to send a small detachment over this way just to help out in the fighting here. But i got to keep an eye on Egypt in the west because they have quite a bit of armies out here. I think what I'm going to do is actually send Oppius... Forward, yeah, I'm going to have Oppius move out and uh, help out with uh, Jerusalem. I think I'm going to keep Decimus in Memphis. Forward. And I think I am going to send some infantry and maybe a little bit more cavalry as well. I do want to keep a healthy amount of troops here to deal with this army. I may march out pretty soon and try to fight them in the field. So I'm not just waiting here all the time. So I'm going to send this fleet over here for the west and see if I can blockade them. If, I don't know if they even have a port, but if they do, I'm going to try to blockade them out on the west just to hurt their finances so they can't train any more troops. We'll get this navy over here to blockade here. And, of course, we're leaving Sidon open because we got our troops over here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Let's see, I've been recruiting quite a bit. I've got some uh, cohorts, onagers, auxilla. We're, we're not neglecting our navy either. We're getting a lot of ships. Training up peasants just to maintain public order. And yeah, doing a lot of recruiting, a lot of uh, upgrades. Uh, we're building, um, still going to continue to build scriptorums, get better re retinue. Awesome Temple of Mars and Croton, that will help with our um, experience for our troops. And we got some markets and sewers and stuff. Yep, we're getting a lot of good uh, retinue. And yeah, we're in the slight negatives here. We're going to have to continue to uh, expand in order to keep our profits up. I mean, we have a huge treasury, but that will decline pretty quickly with the if we want to continue to maintain a large army and continue to uh, recruit. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do this siege of Damascus. I can't wait anymore. We've got the four rams uh, and our ballistas. They do have their reinforcements, but we'll see what we can do about that. I still have quite an advantage, but of course I don't want to lose a whole lot of guys, so uh, let's go ahead and fight this. The fight. Alright, so they're bringing their reinforcements up to the north. I've got my guys aligned up in this corner. We're going to try to hit their reinforcements first. Uh, I've also got just a small detachment over here just to uh, do some uh, missile attack on the city. Um, we also got a couple of infantry here just to protect them and also we might do an assault from here. And I've got my ballistas over here. We'll get them in place to destroy that gate eventually. But I will probably try to take some shots at this army but that's probably not going to be too effective. I'm going to try to get these guys up here and block them. Although they got their chariots and stuff, they might get those in the cities before we can reach them. We'll see what happens. Alright, I've got my... Um, Missile cavalry over here, as well as my Bedouin archers, Bedouin archers uh, heading out. Why aren't they moving? Okay, there we go. So we're going to head out and uh, hit them with our missile cab first, try to delay them as much as possible, and get our guys uh, up close. I think uh, we've got a nice little hill here. So... If we can get over here and protect it, it'll be very effective. However, I think they're gonna 
make a rush. I let's go ahead and uh, hit their general unit with our cavalry and Bedouin archers. I think I'm going to try to hit these Desert Axemen. Might be able to eliminate one unit. And they're over here on the sides. Alright, looks like they've got their chariots rushing forward. Try to get our infantry protecting. Let's have them double time. And we got our archers. Have them hit. Alright, we're getting hit by cavalry. They're already fleeing. That's good. But they're just going to head into the capital, right? Alright, we're engaging with their chariots. It's kind of a mess here. What do we got over here? We got our Sarmatians. Yeah, we're already out of arrows. Okay, they're gonna get a lot of guys into the city. Let's just get these guys lined up as best we can. We've got over here. I'm gonna get my archers. Start firing on these guys. Uh, we gotta protect our ballistas. That's our way into the city. So okay, they're fleeing. That's good. Let's uh send our Sarmatians before they rally. I gotta hit these guys. Let's attack. And these Hestati are gonna get hurt pretty bad, but we've got some flanking. We'll route them. That's good. Forming up over here and over here. Good. Our ballistas are been protected. Let's go like this. We got our Sarmatians. Gotta keep it on. Where's my general? Over here. Okay, I don't want to be charged with spearmen unless they turn around. My general should be able to get him to route. Okay, they didn't route. <laughs> it's just chaos over here. Man, these Niles spearmen are crazy. Let's get their slingers. What do we got over here? Let's get away. Okay, we got Histadis fleeing, that's not good. Alright, they got Nubian Spearmen over here. Uh, okay, this side has been completely routed. I gotta get more infantry support over here on the left flank. Uh, we're kind of in trouble over here. We're engaged. Let's go. Charge. You guys get their slingers. Get our auxilia over here. Oh, we got chariots surrounding us. 
Are they coming after our ballistas? Alright, we got no choice but to engage these chariots. Okay, the chariots are routing. This is no way for a to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. Alright, just we got the enemy general, but we got guys routing everywhere. Alright, Galerius. What do we got over here? Oh, what's that? Hastati. Alright, infantry. Line up over here. And... Let's see if we can rally some of our routed guys. I'm gonna try to get these guys behind him. I'm just gonna take these guys line up. Maybe charge. Halt this group because I don't like the angle. Good, they're they're routed. Okay, we got these Hastadis back. I'm gonna have them just start targeting the gate. All right, what do we got over here? Cohorts over here, attack. Okay, just line up. Alright, just start firing missiles. You guys charge that group. Alright, let's go. We're getting hit by the towers. I'm gonna send all these guys in here to charge. We should be able to take. Oh wait, I don't want to take the gates. I don't want to take the gates because look, they've got some some people in store for us. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Yeah, but I don't want to go in. Let's get away. We want to hit them with our arrows if possible. So. Let's just organize things a little bit here. Uh, I don't want to select that group. Okay, just just get organized here. All right, these infantry, yeah, line up, and we got to get archers over here. Go ahead and double time. You don't have many arrows left. These guys don't have many arrows left. All right, we're gonna take this gate over here, and these two units are completely fresh. March them up a little closer. And we got some archers here. March them up closer, maybe like that. And how about our cavalry? Okay. Ballistas got a good shot here at the gates. What do we got? Okay, we're doing some definite damage with our archers. So we've killed 79%. They've got 18% remaining. Very nice. Roman archers are out of range. Let's get, let's get them up here. Alright, our ballistas have done the job. Let's see if they can do some, hit some units. I don't, I don't know. Ballistas, uh, our soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram. wonder if I could just line them up right here and see what they can hit. Alright, I'm going to have this group just fire at will. See if they can take out some Nubian Spearmen or something like that. Alright, I'm going to send this army over here. Our ballista is not really doing any damage. I mean, I think I've gotten like 1% 
with my ballistas. They're almost out of missiles anyways. So I'm going to march this army in first. And uh, they've got a little bit of support from archers over here. Uh, if anybody comes their way, we'll keep an eye on. But over here, this is going to be a... Oh wow, we've managed to rout <laughs> their slingers. Let's just have a couple more bullets. We'll just uh, wait for them to finish. They might be get a couple more hits on. Alright, looks like we're out of missiles with our ballistas. Alright, let's get our archers here to back them up. I'm going to have these guys double time. And I'll send in the rest of my infantry. Alright, we got something coming here. Oh, just these two guys. I'm gonna get my cavalry moving up. Alright, looks like they've got. They've got a chariot. Let's get my auxilla to take them. Go. Oh, man. They did manage to do the max amount of ca casualties with those two chariots. Alright, we're going to have to deal with those Nubian spearmen somehow. I'll have to get a, get some of my infantry to march around this way. Let's get my cohorts. And probably my general as well. Let's go. Everybody hurry up and get in place. Let's send another group that has backups of Hastadis. Alright, I'm going to send my Equites around here. We're going to try to uh, get these guys to follow them. Uh, let's have them take out these slingers real quick. I want these Nubians to try to attack me. I don't want to hit them head on over here. So let's draw them in. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Follow us, okay? Alright, good. They're following us. Let's go. And I want to get them in here and attack them here from all sides. See if they'll fall for the trap. Alright, here they come. See if they fall for the trap. Alright, wait for them, wait for them. Keep waiting. Charge. And they instantly broke. That, that's great. Nice. Oh, that's their general too. Alright, cool. Now just to take these uh, is it one or two groups in the square here. Oh, it's one and just five guys. So we'll be able to surround them pretty well, I think. Get my Equites just over there in that corner. Get them out of the way. Alright, we'll just grab all the infantry here. March them up this way. And I still have some missiles over here. I still have some arrows. We got these guys here. These guys are actually totally fresh. Because they were over here on this side. They didn't engage at all. So we'll just send them on the way, and we'll get these archers as well. Should be able to hit them from right here, over here. And actually get these 
infantry. Just gonna protect it, my archers here. We'll see if we can... I don't know if they'll take the bait. They'll probably want to stay in the square. We've also got this army over here. Let's get them lined up like this. With my general behind them. I'm gonna send... Um... Get some Hastati over here. I've already taken a lot of casualties. I don't want to take any more. We got 91% of the enemy killed, but we've lost 19%. Pretty crazy beginning of this battle. Can you not fire over this uh, little wall over here? You should be able to hit them in the square. Alright, our Cretan archers are... Let's have them halt so they can start firing. Good, good. We should be able to do a little bit of casualties. Uh, are they attacking those little tiny groups? I want them to attack this big group. Here we go. Doing some damage. Alright, get these guys running up. Alright, they're coming after us. Let's charge. Oh, what's this? They've got another group. Go this way, General. Halt. 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 The gods be praised. The enemy's hearts are full of fear. Charge, everybody charge. Okay, they've rallied. They've rallied. They've rallied. Get out. Get back. Get back. False alarm. False alarm. You guys charge. Let's go. We got him. We got him surrounded. Come on, why aren't these guys charging? Alright, uh... Such a victory. We lost uh, over 500, but we killed over 1,800. Pretty chaotic at the beginning, but we, we managed to uh, not take too many ca casualties. We took a few, but not too bad. Victory! All right, we're going to occupy this victory! settlement because it's, it's just tiny. Let's repair the walls. Yes, Captain. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lay siege again with uh, Captain Giuliani. So I fortified him from with troops from Jerusalem. So we're actually got a pretty decent army now. And we'll go ahead and get a couple of siege towers and some ladders, and that should be good. We'll get Oppius. I mean, we'll get Galerius over here to uh, reinforce it. Um, I'm gonna go over here just for now and build a watchtower. Alright, I'm gonna get Opius the Mad over here to take on this uh, rebels. Prepare for battle. Victory! They do have some chariots, but other than that, they're pretty weak. I mean, they have archers too, but I think we got the greater range on their archers, so we lost 10 guys that was their chariots that attacked us but other than that um, pretty good victory all right I can uh, see their city over here they actually have a little bit of a garrison over here I'm gonna go ahead and blockade them I don't think they have any friends though I didn't see any trade routes going so I think I'm gonna go ahead and have uh, Galerius lead the assault next turn on Sidon we don't really have very good archers and much uh, infantry in our Assault, but I think uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. 
they don't have too many troops. They do have these really good Nile Spearmen. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Continuing to recruit and build up for the Civil War. We got our Imperial Pirate our Imperial Palace in Tarentum, uh, building up uh, our farms and getting some more dockyards. Sparta upgraded. Uh, we got a forum. Built a uh, port in Tarsus. We're getting an army barracks in Alexandria. All right, we're back to a profit here, five thousand denarii. That maybe because we took Damascus. I'm not sure why. Maybe my I didn't uh, recruit nearly as much. I, I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get Galerius in with this army. I don't think the rest of the army can catch up. Move out. Imperator. Attack. All right, we got the uh, gates open. Um, so I'm guessing I won't need my siege towers. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and attack. They got 786 guys. They've got their Pharaoh's bowmen and some Pharaoh's guards. It's going to be a tough siege, I think. But let's do it. So we're not going to use any of the siege equipment. Let's go. Let's take a look at what they've got. Okay, they are occupying the walls just as I'd hoped. That way I can go ahead and rush in. I'm going to lead off the charge with my auxilla and then um, wait a couple seconds and let my uh, infantry follow up. We do have the slingers and the pharaoh's bowmen to worry about, but let's go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, let my auxilla lead the way. And then get the rest of them in here. We've got chariots. I'm worried about these Pharaoh's bowmen. Let's go. Let's get their chariots real quick. Well, not real quick. Man, why are they just standing there? That's funny. get our archers to t take on their bowmen. try to get a cohort to sneak up here and take on these slingers. Uh, maybe Prince of Base too. Okay, we got their chariots to rout. Let's get more guys up on the walls. Uh, let's make sure get everybody inside. Yeah, let's get my Thracians inside attacking up on the walls. I want to take the walls over on this side and uh, let's just get my auxilla lined up here in case their cavalry comes through I can't enter the towers from over here only from this gate okay we've got we got our legionaries let's charge these slingers actually charge the uh, bowmen Fortunately, they're focused on our archers on the outside. They're not focused on our infantry. Oh no, we're gonna get uh, some casualties. Uh, let's get our set, get our general inside. Let's get our cavalry inside. And what are these guys doing? Halt! What are you guys doing? What are these guys doing? Oh, they were still charging those chariots. Okay, okay. Uh, I want to see if I can get them over here. Maybe we can get these guys up on the walls and take on, take the gates. 
Okay, we got our Thracians over here taking on the Pharaoh's Pharaoh's guard. All right, we've already got one. We, let's get all our infantry off the walls. We got their archers, basically. Let's get all of our infantry in the square here. Uh, rally our Thracians. Let's go look. Let's get all of them in the square. Line up like that. Oh no, they're firing fire arrows at us over here. Let's just. They still have 53 guys here. I want to get my missiles over here. Maybe fire at this Pharaoh's guard. My Thracians are just stuck. Um, yeah, they don't really have much miss. Oh, they have 22 bowmen left. Uh, yeah, I want to get my cavalry up the walls. That's smart. Okay, here they come. We can kill them here. We're doing okay. We've lost nineteen percent. Uh, we've got our cohorts are uh, on the wall. They're broken. Maybe let's just forget about the walls. Get all these guys over here. Forget about the walls. Let them have the walls. Our Paltist will take care of them, I think. We can get our get them with our archers. Let's get our infantry marching out, actually. Okay, we got Auxilla over here. Everybody double time. Have some cavalry over here just to just to harass them as they get out of the the walls. All right, how's our infantry doing? Auxilia is lining up. Let's get some archers inside. Let's get them inside the gates. Uh. Let's go have our skirmishers just attack in melee. We still have a little bit. I wonder if I can get them to attack. What if I just go like that? Will they automatically attack? Or will they stay away from these guys as they're getting out of the gates? Alright, archers, get inside. Oh, great. Our archers are dealing with them in hand-to-hand. -hand. If anybody's... Okay, get them over here. Yeah, I just sent my uh, archers out a little bit too soon. Get them over here. They're, they've got quite a bit of guys left in the square. Uh, if I could get my auxilla to move up. And then I'll get my general up here. Just get everybody up closer. You guys are going to fire at will. 
Our slinger's getting smashed by the walls, I think. Let's get them inside. Skirmishers. Anybody left to deal with here? These guys are probably fighting to the death. Uh, I don't want you guys wasting your missiles on those guys. So let's move out. Skirmishers, let's go. Let's deal with any kind of uh, chariots or like their general's bodyguards over here. Let's get all of our cavalry up here in this little waiting area, including our general. I think uh, we took care of all the guys that were on the walls. Looks like we got everybody inside. Oh no, here they come. Chariots. But I think our auxilla is handling them pretty well. Let's go ahead and charge. Have all these guys charge. Where's my general? Get closer. hate these chariots so much. They're just a pain to deal with. Okay, halt. Good job, Exilla. Got the right guys fighting them, I think. Get my spearmen on their chariots. That's, uh, I think that's the best strategy. Okay, Hastani, hurry up. Run. They're making another charge. Where's my... Can you throw your Pila at him? You guys too. Can I get my missiles to... Halt. Everyone halt. We're just... I don't want to... Get close enough... To throw your Pila. Okay, that's just their Bedouin warriors. Uh, I can actually have my cavalry charge. They just... They say they have 23 chariots. Where's the rest of them? This group just must have gotten stuck. I'm going to have my cavalry deal with these Bedouin warriors. What I don't want is my cavalry to deal with uh, chariots. They still have one unit of chariots. Halt. Okay, everybody back up. Uh, they still have... Can I hit these chariots with archers? Maybe slingers? Where are my slingers? Oh, I don't have many left. Okay, they're charging with uh, chariots. Uh, make sure my Xilla gets up front. Good. Halt. And gotta back up. Get my cavalry to back off a little bit. Yeah, we're all cl cluttered up here. Okay, what do we got here? Axilla's all messed up. Got a few more Bedouins. Here's their big heavy calf. That guys are exhausted. I might want to just wait a little bit and let him recover. Where's my... Let's get my archers up a little bit. Boy, we're just uh, facing off against this group here, huh? 
Our auxilios are fresh. Let's go ahead and charge. Let's have the small. We got that chariot. We should take care of these uh, Bedouins real quick. Good job, Auxilla. I'm uh, really happy with how well they've been doing. Let's try to get our guys a little bit rested. Alright, now they're just very tired. Yeah, so it's working. We're just going to continue to rest them. Okay, we're all uh, recovered. We're going to get our auxilla to move up. And we're just going to try to get them with archers. So let's get our auxilla up here. Followed by some Histadis, Principes. Just get our infantry lined up. And then get our archers here. Uh, they don't have many missiles. Let's get this group. Let's get our slingers. And yeah, just get everybody. They're going to be all cluttered up there, but that's fine. Get my general behind here for rally support. And how about my cavalry is ready to go. Is there another route to the city that I could take? Yeah, let's have my cavalry go this way. Or maybe I need to go back. Let's have my cavalry go this way. I am worried about having them exposed, but... And can our archers reach him? Uh, I wish I had Grecian archers right now. They aren't quite in range yet. Um, we've got this small group. I'm going to have them rush forward. Maybe go after this unit. If I can get through this. If we can get through all this, all these guys over here. Let's have them sneak through and see what we can hit. See if we can start firing. Same with our slingers, maybe. Okay. Let's just have them halt. See if we can fire. Are you in range? Oh! What are our equites doing? These guys went the wrong way. They were supposed to go the other way. With <laughs> the rest of the cavalry. Crazy. Okay. Still not in range? How can they not be in range? There we go. <laughs> we took him out. Let's get their general. Actually, let's get... Okay, we've got their attention. Let's go. Uh, can we... They don't want to run past that chariot. Okay, there we go. Go. Well, sorry we had to sacrifice you guys. Fire at will. Ah! I just, sometimes I just hate it. You know, they, I, I took them off fire at will. That's why they weren't firing, and I just sacrificed them for nothing. Oh, so stupid. So stupid. Oh well, here they come. Let's get my cavalry charging. Let's all get their general.
Okay, we got one group routed that was our Thracian mercenaries again. Um, this is a mess. We got our cavalry surrounding them. But they're routing. Oh, man. How can we route? Let's go take their... General. Okay, let's have him rally. Oh, we don't have the rally ability. All we've got is... I have to press forward with my general. Alright, we got him. <laughs> We lost over a thousand guys. Uh, that was a tough battle with those stone walls, and I made a huge mistake <laughs> forgetting to put my archers back on fire at will. And then I thought I was out of range, and I sent them up forward, and then they just got slaughtered. And it also, I think, having those guys route caused a lot of my other guys to route too. So that was a big mistake at the end, but we won. All right, we're going to go ahead and enslave this population. We completed the <laughs> mission. We got a thousand denarii. Oh, thanks. Thanks. That's uh, hardly worth it. All right, let's get our spy out over here. Take a look at their other cities. Here's their faction leader. I'm guessing they're... We've been killing a lot of their faction leaders. Uh, they must be running pretty low on leaders. I know they've got a leader, a couple of leaders out here. Uh, well, at least one. Two leaders out here as well. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, stone walls in Tarentum just for a little bit of added defense. I'd like to get this urban barracks to get our urban cohorts and also the pantheon would be great but I think I'm gonna get the stone walls first I'm gonna get awesome temple of Mars that'll give us extra experience here in Sparta since I train up a lot of guys here I'm gonna send these uh, Eastern mercenaries over here into Damascus and it looks like my public order is gonna be okay and I'm just gonna have these guys disband in Damascus and I'm just trying to spur their growth to the next level um, we're almost there. We got we're up to 1,700 population. We should get there pretty soon. We got a pretty fast growth rate, so pretty happy with that. I'm gonna train up some peasants in uh, Sidon and Jerusalem. Maybe not. I I might not need to send both of them. I'll just send one of them, but uh, the other one will, can be for public order. And I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn. Does look like uh, Egypt has a few more troops out here, but not too much. All right, we're continuing to recruit. We got some Praetorian cohorts. I built some scorpions. I don't usually build scorpions, but I want to give them a try. And of course, like all the other usual troops. Doing a lot of training. Doing a lot of building. We got a great forum in Corinth, a great forum in Pergamum. We're building up our defenses in Blyzora, Croton, getting more good retinue. We got some new family members. And big negatives and profits. We're doing a lot of recruiting. We did a lot of recruiting last turn, but mostly it's the army upkeep. So, got to keep an eye on that. Make sure it doesn't uh, get too out of control. I'm gonna send my diplomat over here to Bostra. See what terms of surrender we can with get for them. They do have a leader here. I want to make them our client state. Then we can go ahead and rush to get the civil war. Let's go ahead and give that a try. See what they say. So he doesn't like that. Maybe if I take these three provinces here in the east, leave these two over here. I'd like to have a little bit of buffer between me and the Scipio over here in Africa. Uh, I don't know where they're marching their armies out to, but they seem to be keeping them here in Africa, so it'd be nice to have Egypt as a buffer. I might just make peace with them, but I'd like to make them a client state. I've actually never been able to successfully do that in a game, so that would be kind of cool if I could. In the meantime, I'm going to have my... Uh, this is their 
current capital. I'm going to have my spy go in there. What? I'm going to try to siege them up as soon as possible. We won't be able to reach them this turn, unfortunately. And over here in Damascus, just gained a few people. We'll have to get one of our peasants over there. Let's do that. And have him disband. And looks like we are now ready to grow. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the, the uh, faction rankings over here. We'll set it to the fob, top five, also include Egypt. So overall ranking, looks like we are just skyrocketing over here, way faster than anybody. The Julii have kind of flatlined, Scipio are just barely, barely rising. You have uh, Britain and Armenia. I'm a little bit concerned about Armenia. They've got quite a bit of territories. I, I want to, I don't want to go to war with them. They've got some troops here. I'm going to have to start keeping a little bit of a garrison over in Sinope and maybe uh, Tarsus or Mazaka as well. I think these guys are just coming through. Maybe maybe they're trying to reinforce Antioch. Uh, they s sent troops around my territories before, but I don't want to get into a heated battle with Armenia before the Civil War. I want to finish off Egypt and then get the Civil War started. So if we look at the military strength, we are also way up in military strength. The Juli have been rising, and so have the Scipio. But we're still number one. Egypt's kind of dipped down a little bit. Not dramatically, because we haven't fought most of their large armies. Their largest armies over there in the west, which we haven't engaged with. Which is actually kind of good for us, because that means they're financially bankrupt. And they can't build anything. You look at their production, it's just rock bottom. So the Scipio have been building up a little bit. As well as uh, Armenia, Julii, a little bit. And uh, territorially, uh, yeah, again, we're just rising up to the top here. Financially, we took a little bit of a dip, but not compared to the Julii. The Julii have taken a massive nosedive. Uh, they can't maintain their large military. And population, again, we've just been skyrocketing population. That means we're going to continue to be a financial powerhouse. Yeah, so over here in Italy, yeah, we're making preparations. I've got a couple of large stacks of armies over here, and we're prepared to move out onto Capua. And I'm trying to build up a little bit more forces in Segestica to march out towards Padavium and the Julii. So I think I'm going to have to focus more over here, get troops over here. I think we have probably enough in the main province. Uh, maybe just a little bit more. Make sure I want to. I need to make sure these stacks are evened up because I've kind of like this one has too many archers. I need to make sure that uh, we have uh, a good distribution of units. So like here's a bunch of uh, siege equipment that um, we do have a little bit of siege. We have a Scorpio and a bunch of onagers here in Segestica as well. And as far as defensive measures I'm putting a few troops on the the river passages here I'm getting some guys over here looks like uh, <laughs> we got a rebel army sitting on a bridge uh, we'll have to deal with them um, maybe they'll back off I don't know I've never seen rebels take a bridge before that's interesting so I'd like to take that bridge to provide us some defense from Dacia because Dacia is a client state of the Julii. Let's get our spy to look at him. So I'm a little concerned about Dacia, but if I can protect these uh, water crossings, I'll be okay. And I'm also building up my fleets and making sure that I definitely want to have uh, control over the fleets in the um, the Adriatic and the Aegean Seas. My biggest concern is uh, Scipio being able to load up troops here and then attack like Croton in one turn. So that's why I'm definitely getting a stone wall over here in Croton. So we're building stone walls in Tarentum. I'm also going to get them in Croton. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye!